All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It is Monday and I have a long road trip that I will tell you about later starting on Wednesday. So I've got some maintenance to do. Um, we are changing out a fuel filter. This is my 22, 20, 22 Chevy 2500 L5P Duramax. Um, this is my daily, my tow rig for anything and everything. So we're taking care of it. Um, here is the AC Duco and GM part number for the fuel filter. I bought a two pack of these from O'Reilly's. It was like less than hundred bucks or maybe a little more than hundred bucks shipped. Um, if you're doing this, lay down some protection in case you get some fuel. Uh, if you're doing this on your driveway, if you care about stuff like that. Um, I usually don't like doing fuel or oil into a plastic bucket, but because the fuel filter is so far up underneath there, I'll show you where it's at here in a minute. Um, I like to lay down some protection. And then tool wise, the nut on the bowl for the fuel filter housing is a 36 millimeter um, socket and you want to get a six sided, not like the 13 point or whatever with the little teeth around there. Get a six sided, that way it fits perfect on there and you're not going to round off those corners. Um, or possibly it slips and you end up cracking it, especially if it's cold out, you know, something like that. So get a six sided 36. Yep, 36 millimeter. Get a little extension, it's like six inch, and this is a 3 8 ratchet. So, um, yeah, let's get started. I'll show you guys what it's like underneath. All right, we're underneath the truck. Here is your gas tank, your fuel tank, and then here's your filter. Um, so here's the filter housing. This is the fitting that's gonna go in your 36 millimeter. This unscrews. I am, I do kind of want to try because everybody, I have not seen on YouTube yet if there's a video that shows this being unscrewed individually from the housing to allow this to drip out. So I'm going to try that real quick. All right, I just checked the fitment and um, it is a T30. So sorry for the, I'm trying to hold the camera. It is a T30. So we're going to see how this goes. Heck yeah, it does. So this actually spins individually from the housing. Come well, on, this is hard to do on the camera. Yep, there we go. Little... So anyway, but all the videos I'd seen, nobody did that first. So I would imagine that's kind of more of a water drain function. If you get water in the fuel, you can drop this out and maybe get some water out, but why not see if it's a, see if it acts as an actual drain too. So nothing's coming out yet. Okay, so nothing came out really, a couple drops. Anyway, here's what the inside of the plug looks like. Don't lose that O-ring. Need that extension on there so you get below the frame. Doesn't take a whole lot from what I've seen. But anyway, twist this off and I'll show you what the fuel filter looks like. All right, got it drained out. Here is your fuel filter inside the fuel filter housing for your L5P Duramax. Um, First impression of the filter compared to a bright white clean one, um, you know, is dirty. I've seen dirtier on YouTube for sure. Um, I've seen dudes pull these out and they're straight black. Now, um, this truck has, let's see, about 650 engine hours, I want to say, and then 17 and a half thousand miles. So, uh, 17 and a half thousand miles is quite a bit for a 2022. Um, I do run ET, Hotshot EDT every other tank. And then the um, the other, I forget the name of the other one, um, the secret, Hotshot secret, whatever it is that you change or put in the fuel tank at every uh, oil change. But I, I do run that. So I keep, I try and keep my fuel system as clean as I can. Don't press that out. 
But yeah, I mean, you know, it's a dirty fuel filter, nothing too crazy. I will get these swapped out and I'll show you the difference between old and new. Old versus new. Dirty versus clean. This is why you do your maintenance. Um, this is all the crap that's in your fuel, diesel fuel here in America. We have pretty crappy diesel. So um, basically the way to get that out, by the way, is just grab that housing by the bottom, grab the top and kind of pry up and out um, and it'll pop out. So uh, replacing, replacing on the new one comes with new O-rings. So there's a big one and then a little one. And um, so the big one goes on the housing itself. And then that little one goes on your uh, draw tube there. So big little one replaces the one on the housing. Little one replaces that one. I'm gonna swap those out. Get the new one in, uh, prime the system. Don't forget to prime your system and we'll be done. We'll be back in a second. All right guys, we got it all buttoned back up. I wiped everything down. So um put your drain cap back in again that's a t30 um don't forget to slick down all your o-rings with some diesel um and then the last thing uh when you put the filter uh after you put all your o new o-rings on when you put the filter back into the housing you're going to put it into the housing bucket itself before you screw everything back on you don't put the filter in and then screw this over it so when you put the filter into the housing It'll, it's gonna click in. When you put it in, it'll click in down here at the bottom. Um, it'll kind of pop in. You'll hear it click, pop in, it'll sit flush, and then you screw everything back together. So, um, yeah, that's it. Let's um, get out and go prime this thing. Might help if I unlock it. Okay, so to prime, we're keeping foot off the pedal. I want to go to a Stanley. I don't know if you can hear that. All right, I primed it that first time. Sorry, I don't know if my Bluetooth took over, but I'll uh, prime it again. I'm going to prime it four or five times at least. So foot off the brake, and then uh, you can probably hear the lift pump kick in stock lift pump in the tank. You can hear it kicking out all that air as it gets up to pressure. This lift pump um, on my banks says it pushes about around 59, 60 pounds of fuel to the fuel pump up front. Prime it again. Okay, so that time it didn't kick on. So we are up to pressure. I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, nothing again. So we should be good, let's start it up. Pressure's looking like, so lift pump down here, bottom right, 60. Floating around 60. Fuel rail pressure, just about 5,000. Yes, ma'am. We're making a video on the fuel filter change out. Well, because I gotta, you gotta turn it on after and let it run for a second, make sure there's no leaks. Do you see anything leaking? You gotta look, come here, come here, come here, come here. Let's check it. She's no help. No leaks. Let's look under there, quick. So we're gonna get back in and to wrap up this job, we are going to scroll over. This is a custom, this is a 2500 custom. So excuse the old dial. We are going to go over to fuel filter life. Mine was at 9%. Are you sure you want to reset? Yes. Well, let's uh, shut it off.
There we go. Okay. So once you shut it off and restart it, it'll... All right. Cool. So that's how you do a L5P 2020 and up. This is a 2022 Duramax fuel filter change. Stay on top of your maintenance, guys. See you on the next one.